All right, now we. Psst. Psst. What? Oh, let's roll it. You know, I was born at night. But damn sure I wasn't born last night. Comedian Marvin Howard. Yeah. Comedian Marvin Howard right here. Night. What's going on? Happy Thursday. Uh, you get a special treat because this is the third video that you're getting from me right now. And um, I wanted to talk about this rice bum. Uh, two million followers on YouTube. 400 some thousand followers on Twitter. And I don't know how many on Instagram, but apparently he has this thing about going to find his victims for his roasting channel. And his roasting channel consists of little kids that he claims that he wants to get rid off the internet. Okay. I'm a little behind on the fact of making this report because I've been involved in a play here in Minnesota where I live at. And I knew that I was going to... Uh, have to say something in regards to this matter. And by damn it, I'm I'm going to. Alright? 19 years old. What are you doing first and foremost looking for 10-year-old girls to roast? Why are you looking for underage kids in the first place? You know what I'm saying? You were fine talking about Gabby Show and, and all these other people that you the YouTube uh sensations, celebrities, whatever you want to call them here on YouTube. But then it seemed like you started to run out of shit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And I, it makes no sense to me that you would, you know, do anything like this. Get his ass, G. I understand roasting is fun. It's something that you're new at doing, obviously. Not really that good. You know what I'm saying? But two million followers. All of majority, majority of them are nothing but kids. You're having fun right now. You know, YouTube is is sending you to different states to go hook up with different YouTubers. Cool, you're making your little paper. Good, I'm not going to hate on you on that. But I'm going to hate on you because of the content of your material that you're using. Okay? I'm not saying it's right that a 10-year-old should be dressed put on makeup and stuff like that but you know what according to Shannon Moakley Moakley and, and according to uh, Travis Barker they are monitoring her uh, there's many kids out there whose moms let them dress up and do those pageants there's honey boo boo you know what I'm saying there's worse things that are out there right now you know what I'm saying there's the Orlando shooting you could have roasted the uh, the terrorists, you know what I'm saying? With your family looking like they own a cleaner's looking ass. You know what I'm saying? You could have talked about everything that was going on around the world with your Harold from Harold Kumar looking ass. You know what I'm saying? You could have done all those little things, but you decided not to. You decided to take it out on a 10-year-old girl and had your followers run over to her page because you gave her information out so they ran over to her page and the next thing you know they're telling her to drink bleach and die and your only response was my followers are savages and no you didn't tell them to go over there wink wink but you knew what was happening you're a sad case bro you know what i'm saying so why don't you pick on somebody like me pick on an old man you know what i'm saying Deuce, what you gonna talk about my nose? You gonna talk about my videos that I've had on the page for six years? You know, it makes no difference to me. You know what I'm saying? But you need to put a little bit more control and a little bit more cap on the followers that you have. Why don't you take this time out and delete all those followers? You know, block them because they're not following behind what you stand for. Since you want to get everybody off the internet, all these little kids off the internet, and if you took all these little kids off the internet, doesn't that leave you with not that many followers left? Because what, two million of majority of them are kids. So I don't, I don't understand your point. Anyway, I just want to point that out to you, man. You know what I'm saying? And any time that you want to go for a roast battle, I'm down for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you're gonna win because. You got followers and you got people that's going to put L's in my comments and stuff like that, like they've been doing. But really in truth, you don't want this. You don't want this coming your way. You really don't. 
Trust me, you don't. So it's safe to say that you think that I'm irrelevant because I only have a few hundred followers. Probably inactive. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But here's my point. You will never be able to roast me. Okay? Roast your damn self. Anyway, I wanted to get that off my chest. I want to let it be known that I feel that he's a borderline pedophile for going around trolling little girls. And I think, honestly, I'm not feeling your channel. You know what I'm saying? I know plenty of funnier cats on there. I know Bubba. You know what I'm saying? I know definitely some cats off of, off of Instagram. So, you know, I'll tell you what. When you start coming for them, let me know. And I'll watch. You know what I'm saying? And I will honestly give my honest opinion and let you know whether or not you roasted them or not. Because I don't think you can. But it's all in fun, right? So, why don't you do that? Hit the heavy core, roast us, and then we talk. Alright? You got anything to say? No, I, I, I ain't got nothing. I was just supposed to be holding the camera. So, I mean... You don't even have a budget. You didn't have to bring that up. Anyway, I love each and every one of y'all. There's nothing y'all can do about it. I'm expecting all L's in the comments. Peace, bitches.